Hey guys, welcome back to another Raptor Pack RVing video. Today is our second on the install of our Raptor uh, wheel chalk that we uh, installed. I'll put a link to the initial one, uh, how we got it all hooked up inside the garage. So Josh, you okay losing your bedroom for a day? Yeah. <laughs> Josh's bedroom becomes uh, our garage for Samantha. So we're gonna show you uh, hopefully how easy this is, although I've never done this, buddy. Yeah. So we've never we've never put our bike in this garage. This is your guys are seeing it for the first time. And before we do it, I want to promise no laughing. Nobody laughs, including you, the photographer. <laughs> so um, we hope to get this thing up. Uh, you can see her again. Come on up here, babe. I'm coming. So we got the uh, can't climb. We got the wheel chalk is uh, all installed. We got the bracket down here. There's the locking pin. So it's centered directly in the trailer. So let's get this big old bike in here, huh? Yeah. All right, buddy. Let's do it. beaten but we did it it's not hit the kitchen nope. door um, it's always well, next part now we're gonna go with two straps we're gonna strap it from both handlebars we're gonna come forward to our tie downs so uh, let's show you how we're gonna strap this thing down all right well the hard parts done so you can see coming in I think I gunned it a little bit too much but even with all that the wheel chalk uh, really holds this thing up and I mean, right now, you can almost take this thing without putting straps on it, but straps we chose, uh, we're going with the, uh, after looking, doing a lot of reviews, the Rhino. The Rhino straps with the uh, soft strap for the handlebar. Our bars, we have the low fatty bars, so uh, it's pretty simple. We're going to go through. I like these because, one, it's a real nice beefy strap. It's going to hold there. Um, we're going to take it down to our tie downs. Rhino gives you a great buckle system that uh, is going to withstand anything that we're going to drive through. So let me show you. Let's hook this thing up and show you how our straps. With our wheel chalk up here, we're going to be pulling it forward. The nice thing with the Condor is you don't have to compress the shocks. That's the one thing that talking to a lot of guys that do this and uh, reading the reviews is we, when you depress these shocks, you can blow them out. So with the Condor chalk, I'm just going to put just enough tension on this to keep it really stable as, as we're going down the highway. So let's get this thing hooked up. See, even with the straps now, mm -hmm. this thing is not moving. It's not moving at all. Let's yeah. get a rear view shot here. And now wiggle it. That's the nice thing with the Condor. Oh, I'm so good at it. Oh, yeah. This thing ain't going anywhere. You don't need any straps in the back. You don't need any straps. I compressed the clamps to where I got maybe a half an inch, maybe an inch compressed on my shocks. So 
Baby, I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. All right. Hey, guys, we'll see you down in uh, Alton, California. We'll get this baby out. Take Tra care. Travel more stressed.